Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a baby essential 0 to 3 month list. A lot of people have been asking over on my Instagram about what items I feel like I've really loved and I really needed. Now I didn't want to do it any earlier because I felt like I really really wanted to give a lot of products a try before I would recommend them to you guys because I feel like I don't just want to recommend things without actually loving them myself. So, so not everything that I have been gifted is in this video just because we aren't loving them as much as these products right now now obviously ocean is now coming up to 12 weeks old and some of the products that i haven't loved in the last three months i might love in the next three months so it just really really depends but i feel like i've got quite a lot of good products here actually and i feel like i've been quite fair maybe a little bit harsh on some things right so let's get into this okay so bathing domain now obviously bathing your child is a fun experience sometimes it's very tiring i mean when they get older i'm just the time it comes to bath time i don't know about you guys but i'm feeling really like uptight and i just need the kids to go to bed especially being in lockdown because when it's bedtime it's bedtime okay so first thing is going to be this angel care bath aid I think you'd call it so we've got the pink one it comes in white and pink white and gray white and blue we got the pink one because it was the quickest on prime last time with oscar we used a thing called a push tub which you put in the sink however this time we've kind of gone straight for this we've used the push tub only a handful of times really baby ocean's been using it since she was really really little it has like a little indicator here which tells you the maximum height for the water in the bath and ocean just really really loves it centerpiece is like a foamy material as well it's got holes in there so when you finish with it it's just going to drop through drip through and also it's got a little handle here so if you need to hang it onto a wall maybe to let all the fluid drip or if you need to make some space in your bathroom you can pop it there but yeah this is angel care i would definitely recommend this and then i think when they start to sit up there's a next angel care seat as well so obviously when we get to that age i'll let you know if i like it but yeah i really like that one also guys just let you know i will try and link everything below in the description box for you okay so next item is this cuddle dry towel it is literally sick so so i was sent one before we gave birth we did actually get some in our baby shower as well but when they sent them i thought oh this is going to be good and it totally is good it's really really amazing it's super soft and it's really large like you don't have to worry about your child getting cold or anything and also the great thing is so what you do is you pop it around your neck like so like this and then you hang it down so like this then when you get the baby out of the bath you pick them up put them on your chest and then you'll put this triangle a bit over their head so like this so you're not getting wet and they're keeping dry and they've even got a hood for their for their for their head but yeah this is really amazing and then also you can still lay them down on the bed or on the changing table whatever you're going to do and it's so big that you're not feeling like you're getting pulled towards them so it works really well um it comes in an array of colors but i think we might have a white one all white one and a white and gray one here but they're just really really lovely and definitely recommend this for for all babies realistically i mean it's a really good baby shower gift as well because i feel like a lot of people don't know about this sort of thing yet make sure you check out their instagram as well and give them a follow yeah okay so feeding so so a lot of you have asked about breast pumps and stuff like that the lv breast pump which is legit sick is literally so good the best thing about it is that you have an app on your phone and it whereby you can control the power of the suction of of the pump so it means that you don't always need to put your hand into your bra to turn it up and down also this is wireless as you can see so you really don't need to just be sitting around you can literally just pop it in walk around they've got little bra adapters as well but i haven't used the bra adapters i've just made my bra bigger basically on whatever side and it doesn't sound sound like a uh, 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 uh. you can hear it but it doesn't sound like really really strong so that's really good also they've got different inserts inside in this bit here they've got different inserts here so it's different shape for different for different nipples basically obviously a lot of people have said this is quite pricey which i guess it is however it is really really amazing i did have a breast pump before with oscar and it wasn't as good also you get a little bag that you can carry it around in so if you need to carry it around and as it is just this you can buy double pumps but as it is just a singular pump and it's not loads of wires actually you can just pop it into your bag also on the app you can actually record how much milk you're pumping from each breast so you don't forget so that is and a definite recommendation 
Okay, and then moving on with feeding as well. So muslins are a really good thing to use. These are the really, really big ones. Oh, <laughs> as you can tell. It's by the brand Adin and Anis. Now, I feel like these are quite pricey, but it is because they're really, really large and the material is really, really divine. Like, it's so, so soft. And they do have lovely patterns and I feel like that's the thing that wins me over with them. We did actually manage to get free of these muslins, so the really, really big ones, for about 20 pound, they had like a sales section on their website. So you can get three of the large ones ordinarily for like 60 pounds. And before I had this, I was like, oh, 60 pounds, that's quite a lot of money. But actually now I've got them, I would pay 60 pounds for three of the muslins because they're so soft, they wash up well, and they're beautiful, beautifully designed. I, I love this one. This is one of my favourites. You can get smaller ones, of course, but these ones are really good. They're good for feeding, they're good for swaddling, they're good for blankets. Sometimes we would pop them underneath as like a sheet, especially for like good imagery. As we're speaking about feeding, this is a feeding pillow, which is from Mamas and Papas. You can get them pretty much everywhere. I did have one before from Jojo, Mama and Bebe, and you can just pop it round your waist like that and then you can just rest your baby um even if you're like bottle feeding as well you can just pop them pop them on there basically and it's just really good if your little baby has got siblings it's really good to support them as well when they're holding the baby they can be supported because you know how heavy babies get eventually <laughs> Okay, so moving on to sleeping, we have got the NARS pod, which we got it in like the grey colour and the white. It is really, really good and I really, really do love this. Now, it is slightly larger than the one we had last time with Oscar, which is, is good. Obviously, it means they're going to last a lot longer in it. And, and this one actually has like a good rock. I know some people say you shouldn't rock your babies, but sometimes it's necessary. Like the other one as well, you can put down the sides like so and it is actually good because when you're like feeding and stuff you can just put them back in and out and in and out without having to get up so it's really good also i have had a lot of questions about whether ocean is in a sleepy head and ocean is in a sleepy head we really like the sleepy head now i know there's a lot of controversy around whether your child to sleep in one or not however we have opted to let ocean sleep in in a sleepy head and i have had a few messages on my instagram suggesting that i'm very irresponsible for telling people that ocean is sleeping in a sleepy head but however what i would like to say is that i'm only going to be honest and i don't want to want to lie to you guys that she's not sleeping in a sleepy head when she is i mean we are all our own parents and we decide what we are going to do for us now I have actually read a lot of things about this, um, including the Lullaby Trust information and Miles and I have spoken about it and we are still letting Ocean sleep in here and that is completely up to you. Everyone is different and I'm just going to leave that there basically. So we have got this sleepyhead deluxe we've got this beautiful palm tree print and we do also have a white one now i would say that you do need to get a spare cover just in case like their wee goes on it or they do a little poo and stuff like that so yeah you do kind of need to it's a little bit of a struggle sometimes to get the sleepyhead back into the cover not the mattress part but this part sometimes it's a two-person job it's got like a little handle here and then you've got little handles on the side as well and i would definitely say this is one of my staple pieces for a newborn because oscar had one which we like emergency bought like three weeks into him being born because he just wanted to be cuddled and this gives that feeling ocean's had this one since she's been born so that's 12 weeks now but yeah i definitely definitely recommend the sleepy head also what we do sometimes is we bring this sleepy head downstairs and we put her like on the floor or on the sofa with us and she can sleep here so it's really really cool and they also do sell like a cabana i think it's called a cabana which goes over the top here so if you go to the beach or you go in the garden and it's sunny it's going to protect the baby from the sun but it's not going to like make them overheat because you know sometimes if you put like a muslin over your pram it actually traps the heat in it makes it really really hot for them so the cabana thing doesn't do that at all so that's recommended for more like sunnier times in the garden and the beach and stuff we do also have the grand the sleepy head grand which will be for when ocean goes into a big bigger cot okay so another thing that we absolutely love we love aesthetically and we love the fact that it's very very portable is this beautiful basket 
which is from Benita's Baskets and it's absolutely stunning. It feels really, really secure and it's just really, really well made and it's just a lovely colour. And you know how we all love to get those like little pictures with the little wooden cards like saying how many months and stuff? This is just perfect. Okay, so it doesn't come with the mattress. However, you can get your own mattress from loads of places, but we got the mattress from Little Green Sheep and it fits perfectly and we got the bed sheets from there too. But this is one of the things that I absolutely love and really wanted before Ocean was born mostly for pictures but also for somewhere for baby Ocean to sleep other than in her snug so you don't have to carry that around keep this one in the living room sometimes we even put the sleepy head into the basket and ooh, like so have her sleeping downstairs we have actually taken this for a picnic with us as well so it actually just meant that we could eat our food not worry about her being on the grass and like insects and stuff going on her and she was just really really secure in here so I would definitely recommend this now a lot of people have asked about stands we don't have a stand with this uh, Moses basket so if anyone has actually managed to get a Bonita basket crib like this drop a comment below and let me know if any stands are available that fit yeah that is a definite okay and then this is seems a bit dry to be honest but i just want to say how much i love the wedged baby mat this one is from john lewis and it was really really affordable and i just love that it has the slope side so you don't need to worry about them like moving around especially as we have this on top of the changing table and yeah it's just a perfect size and it's a perfect shape okay so baby bouncer we have got the baby bjorn is it born born bjorn bouncer here it's like a meshy material so it's a really beautiful material and it's obviously a really nice print now i think that this print was limited edition so i don't think they have this print anymore however they do have like loads available online so like pink gray black navy i will link some below for you now this this material is washable as well so if they do have an accident you can wash them but the slopesness of the back here is just perfect and ocean literally just loves it the thing i love as well is if they move a little bit it sort of bounces them so it soothes them it has different levels for different sizes and stuff but you read the instructions and you'll figure out which one but that is a chair that i would definitely buy Okay, and then I have probably spoken about this on my Instagram already, but these Chico scales are so essential right now. As obviously we are in a pandemic at the moment, so weighing baby is not like a weekly occurrence anymore. I don't know if you guys ever did this with your children, but obviously getting them weighed on a regular basis, seeing how much they've grown and so on, you can't do that at the moment. So popping Chico scales onto your Amazon order is really, really cool and just tells you how much she weighs basically. But it's something that I never thought about having at home until my best friend said her health visitor recommended it and i was like oh yeah of course i could do that but yeah so definitely recommend those chico scales okay and then the last item which i'm going to speak about is a play mat and it is this play mat here it is by tiny love and they call it a gymnasium i think they call it ocean absolutely loves this cow and she also really loves the rabbit too now it does have sensor pads on this bit here so it means that when she kicks her feet it will make a really lovely noise and music and so on or you could just play continuous music. But Ocean does fall asleep on here sometimes, which is really, really lovely. Also, it has a mirror, which Milo and Oscar really, really like to show Ocean who she is. And they always say things that are really, really sweet, such as like, who's that beautiful girl? Who's that beautiful girl? And it's really, really cute. But it's so colourful and Ocean just absolutely loves it. I kind of forgot that by three months that she would really be active and like involved in this sort of stuff. Okay, guys. So I'm coming to the end of my haul now. I hope you've liked that. Please, please, please give me a thumbs up like subscribe also if you've got any baby essential items please drop them below and then everyone else can read them too obviously all the items i have shown you some of them were gifted and some of them i purchased myself however as i said in the beginning of the video i don't actually have to post these up on here but i'm just showing you what we have loved as a family so yeah but please give me a thumbs up like subscribe and i will see you again soon